travel. Let's visit Door County. Hello, my name is Amy Perry and I am the Community Engagement Librarian at the Middleton Public Library. I am happy you are joining me on this Tales and Travel adventure. The Tales and Travel program was developed in 2008 by Mary Beth Reidner, a retired librarian. There are two ways to use this program. First, you can just listen and follow along as I read the narrative throughout this video. Or second, you or your partner can turn down the volume and pause the video so that, so that you can read the narrative out loud yourself. You might also want to talk with your partner about what you are seeing or about any memories that come to mind. Let's start our trip. Door County is a 70 mile long region located in northern Wisconsin along the narrow landmass in the eastern central side of the state. It projects out into the waters of Lake Michigan and Green Bay and there are approximately 300 miles of coastline. Need some relaxing beach time? It's just a three hour drive to Door County from Middleton, Wisconsin. A very brief historical overview. According to Door County's Visitors Bureau, Door County was home to early nomadic residents more than 12,000 years ago, and archaeological evidence suggests it has been continuously inhabited by humans since 10,000 BC. Early permanent settlements date back 2,000 years. The dominant Native American tribe in the region were the Potawatomi. Other influential tribes include the Winnebago or Ho-Chunk, the Ojibwe, the Sauk, the Menominee, and the Ottawa. Surrounded by water, it's no surprise Dora County's history includes settlers who worked as fishermen, mariners, and shipbuilders. Likewise, Dora County settlers were also loggers and farmers who relied on ships to transport their wares to and from the region. The Eagle Bluff Lighthouse was built in 1868 and is located in Peninsula State Park, which is in the town of Fish Creek. Situated on a bluff overlooking Green Bay, the Eagle Bluff Lighthouse was constructed for just $12,000. The first keeper, Henry Stanley, and his wife served from 1868 through 1883. The second keeper, William Ducklin, and his wife, Julia, in the photo on the left, lived and worked at Eagle Bluff for 35 years and raised seven sons there, some of whom served as lifesavers. Following the couple's retirement in 1918, Peter Coughlin was appointed the final keeper. When the lamp was automated with acetylene gas in 1926, the keeper's residential tenure at Eagle Bluff ended. What do you think it was like to grow up in a lighthouse? The following poem captures how difficult it must have been for lightkeepers to accept the new technology, which ultimately made the profession obsolete. The Lightkeeper Wonders by Edgar Guest. The light I've tended for 40 years is now to be run by a set of gears. The keeper said, and it isn't nice to be put ashore by a mere device. Now, Fair or foul the winds that blow, or smooth or rough the sea below. It is all the same. The ships at night will run to an automatic light. That clock and gear which truly turn are timed and set so the light shall burn. But did ever an automatic thing set plants about in early spring? And did ever a bit of wire and gear a cry for help in the darkness hear? Or welcome callers and show them through? the lighthouse rooms as I used to do. Tis not in malice these things I say, all men must bow to the newer way. But it's strange for a lighthouse man like me, after 40 years on shore to be. And I wonder now, will the grass stay green? Will the brass stay bright and the windows clean? And will ever the automatic thing plant marigolds in early spring? A very brief natural beauty overview. Door County offers a long list of outdoor activities for those who enjoy nature, such as boating, canoeing or paddling, camping, hiking, bicycling, birding and fishing. Peninsula State Park boasts high bluffs and sandy beaches. 
There are also miles of hiking trails, a golf course, camping sites, an outdoor theater, a lighthouse, and playgrounds. What is your favorite outdoor activity? Newport State Park, located farther north, closer to the tip of the Door County Peninsula, offers a unique feature as it was designated Wisconsin's first international dark sky park, one of just 48 parks in the world to earn the distinction. Because of Newport's location, there is an absence of artificial light, which makes the nights remarkably dark, providing an ideal spot for enjoying truly dark skies and the Milky Way. Do you enjoy looking at the night sky? Can you name a constellation? Door County sunsets are a sight to see. People gather along the waterfront parks and beaches to enjoy the colorful sky as it transforms from blue to shades of red, orange, yellow, and purple. Door County is also known for its classic fall landscape. The bushy green trees in the summer burst with color in the fall and draw even more people to the area to enjoy all of the autumn beauty Door County offers. What do you enjoy most about the autumn season? A very brief taste of Door County. Many people eat their way through Door County. You can find everything from kid-friendly food spots to traditional Wisconsin supper clubs. Two iconic Door County staples are cherries and the fish boil. In summertime, cherries are everywhere from pick your own at orchards, roadside stands, restaurants, bars, and farmers markets. Door County's cooler spring months and unique soil composition make it an ideal spot for growing cherries. Fish boils are also a Door County staple. They are a meal, a performance, and a tradition. A very brief overview. There are many quaint towns to visit in Door County, such as Sturgeon Bay, Egg Harbor, Bailey's Harbor, Whitefish Bay, Fish Creek, Sister Bay, Ephraim, and Washington Island. Let's learn a little more about Washington Island. Washington Island is the largest of Door County's 30 islands. The town of Washington was established in 1850, but the first known residents of the island were the Potawatomi. Today, the year-round population of Washington Island is approximately 718, and with seasonal residents, the population increases to approximately 1,600. To get to the island, take a 30-minute, five-mile trek across the water on the Washington Island Ferry. While on board, sit back, relax, and enjoy the scenic ride. Let's listen to some of the sounds we might hear when traveling on a ferry. Can you identify which birds you hear? The Washington Island Ferry Line was started in 1940 with two existing wooden ferries. Over the years, steel ferries were added and today, the line boasts modern Coast Guard approved vessels that make up to 25 round trips a day during high season and two round trips per day in winter. Thank you for traveling with me to Door County, Wisconsin. If you are using this program with someone else, the next screen will make some suggestions for starting a conversation about traveling to Door County or anywhere. Suggested topics for conversation. Have you ever visited Door County? Do you have any family or friends who are from there? What do you think of when you think of Door County? Nature, food, history? Why do you think Door County is nicknamed the Cape Cod of the Midwest? Thank you.